What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how fast you can remove subjects or objects in your photos with Affinity Photo and you can take photos which looks like this and turn them into something like this. Now once we get over to Affinity Photo, we're going to move over to Import from Photos to find the photo that we want to work with. After we selected the photo that we want to adjust, we're going to move over to the clone tool, which is here. Now we're going to double tap on this to open up the menu. Then we're going to go to in painting brush. Now, once we tapped on in painting brush, we can go down to the bottom section here of the screen and we can adjust the hardness, flow, opacity and width. Now, once you selected the settings that you want, you're going to zoom into the image and then you're going to start drawing on the parts of the image that you want to remove. And in this case, that is the subject, the person standing behind the dog. Now, every time you lift your finger or Apple Pencil, Affinity Photo will start rendering out and take parts of the image which is matching the place where you are removing a subject or object to fill it out and to blend the scenery together. And Affinity Photo is actually doing quite an impressive job considering this is a super fast way of removing things in your image and keep in mind that you can also draw over the parts that you just removed to blend the scene even more now once you're happy with the removal of your subjects or objects we're gonna head over to the export button and we're gonna tap on export then we're gonna tap on share and we're going to tap on save image. Now, after you save the image, you can take it over to Lightroom Mobile and you can put your own look and style to it. And you can take your image from something like this to this. So there you have a quick tip on how you can remove subjects or objects in your photos using Affinity Photo. Really hope that you enjoyed this video as well. Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That would be really appreciated. And that's going to be the end of today's video. So I see you in the next one.